This is the Satellite Navigation and Sensing Lab, led by Dr. Jay Morton in the Ann and H.J. Smead Aerospace Engineering Sciences Department at the University of Colorado Boulder. The Sense Lab is part of the Colorado Center for Astrodynamics Research, also known as CCAR. In our lab, we conduct research in four primary areas. Instrumentation development for distributed remote sensing research and satellite signal monitoring, ionosphere monitoring, and space weather forecasting to mitigate the impacts of solar events, GNSS reflectometry for remote sensing of the ocean, sea ice, and land cover, and receiver technology development for navigation in challenging environments using GNSS and radio signals of opportunity. A majority of SenseLab research relies on data collected by receivers across the globe. For some projects, more specialized and detailed information is required, which has led us to establish our own network of receivers in strategic locations. Some are temporary, such as the Horizon Looking High Gain Receiver System, shown in the background video, while others have been operating for over a decade. These receiver systems are designed, fabricated, and deployed by the Sense Lab's two research engineers with assistance from undergraduate, master's, and doctoral students. The majority of our receiver systems are of two standard designs. The first, called a CDAS for Continuous Data Acquisition System, collects GNSS observables data at 100 Hz. The second system, called an EDAS for Event-Driven Data Acquisition System, expands on the CDAS functionality by including six software-defined radios to directly sample the GNSS radio signals. The data collected by these receiver systems enables research in a wide range of subjects including space weather forecasting, ocean wind and atmospheric moisture estimation, and navigation system performance monitoring. The Earth's ionosphere is one of the most consistently exciting topics in GNSS research. It is a region of the atmosphere composed of ionized molecules, or plasma, that extends high above the neutral atmosphere that we know and breathe, and it's especially known for its impact on radio signals, like those transmitted by GNSS satellites. The sun emits a stream of particles called the solar wind that can sometimes impact Earth's magnetic field, causing ionospheric storms and the aurora, those colorful lights that appear near the north and south poles. The stormy ionosphere, in turn, disrupts the signals that propagate through it. Various structures can form in the plasma and drift around, and it's important to know where they're going. That's why our lab combines measurements from a variety of different sources in order to better understand the behavior and impact of the ionosphere, as well as to forecast the state of the ionospheric plasma using a variety of techniques such as machine learning. Overall, the influence of space weather and the vast data sets of ionosphere observations make this one of the most challenging and exciting topics in GNSS research. GNSS signals reflected from Earth are imprinted with the signatures of the changing surface conditions. The Sense Lab is using this technique, called GNSS reflectometry, to perform remote sensing. One application is measuring ocean surface winds, such as in hurricanes. The distortions of the reflected signal are related to wind speed and direction. We've used machine learning to improve wind speed retrieval. Wind direction retrieval is trickier. We're working on a way to extract information from a sequence of measurements and again using machine learning for the retrieval. Measuring wind relies on a rough, wind-driven surface. Over a smooth surface, the reflections can be coherent, which unlocks other capabilities. In this case, the phase of the reflected signal can be used to make precise range measurements. That lets us see changes in the height of the ocean. Ocean altimetry helps monitor sea level rise and track ocean currents. We've further applied this idea to measuring ice freeboard, the height of sea ice above the ocean surface. We've also seen that the coherency of the reflected signal is related to sea ice age. All of this information plays a role in understanding our changing climate. GNSS signal reflections from land are useful, too. For example, we've used coherent reflections from rivers to see changes in height. 
we're continuing to explore more applications in the exciting and rapidly developing field of GNSS reflectometry. Another research area in this group is navigation technology development, where we mitigate disturbances, multipath, and dynamic effects on navigation signals and investigate emerging navigation systems and methods. GNSS radio occultation signals may experience ionospheric and tropospheric scintillation, which are abrupt fluctuations in both the signal amplitude and carrier phase. Under these circumstances, it's challenging for GNSS receivers to maintain lock of the signal. Our lab has developed phase noise models for the scintillation effects and advanced signal tracking algorithms, which optimize the receiver performance in high dynamic and low signal quality situations. Urban navigation is a growing area of research for navigation due to emerging technologies in autonomous navigation of cars and aerial vehicles. The urban environment is a challenging one due to the complex signal environment and the scarcity of direct line of sight navigation signals. One approach to using navigation signals in complex environments is to use forms of assisted GPS like direct positioning to use weak and reflected signals effectively and to also incorporate forms of situational awareness to evaluate and predict the signal environment based on visibility conditions and likelihood of signal reflections in urban environments. This requires developing models of the surrounding city environment, as well as incorporating additional signals of opportunity, like LTE signals that are typically used for cell phone communication as signals for navigation. This multifaceted approach allows us to solve interesting challenges in the urban navigation research area. LTE-based navigation technology is attractive for urban and indoor areas where GNSS faces numerous challenges. One of the most difficult issues in exploiting LTE signals for navigation is the multipath effects. Our group developed an advanced LTE signal processing algorithm with superior multipath mitigation capability. The algorithm can detect the first path and generate accurate ranging measurements under harsh multipath conditions. One of the challenging conditions future GNSS technology faces is the ever-present ionosphere. The ionosphere changes a lot throughout any given day. This can affect signals passing through it greatly. A solution to this is to use new signals on future navigation systems like GPS Block 3. New signal schemes, such as frequency hopping, are being studied and may have beneficial properties for combating ionospheric effects. Current navigation satellite systems consist of satellites in medium Earth orbit, or 20,000 kilometers above the Earth's surface. Our lab is currently investigating the usage of emerging low Earth orbit mega constellations, such as the Starlink broadband internet system for enhancing navigation across the globe and identifying and solving the challenges that they bring.